Manoj Wasudewan. Pull less, bend more. Pull less, bend more. Manoj Wasudewan. Thank you. Thanks so much. I was 24 years old. I had a nice job, nice car, nice hair. <laughs> Still, my girlfriends didn't stay for long. Have you ever had problems in your relationships with others? What was wrong with them? <laughs> Contest chair, ladies and gentlemen. When I was 24, I was living in India. I was still waiting for Cupid to shoot his arrow and find me the perfect partner. Guess what? It seems Cupid doesn't live in India. <laughs> Soon I went to another angel who had all the answers. My mama. Mama, I can't find good girls. How will I ever marry? She said, no problem. We can fix it. My mama offered to introduce me to some good girls. Nice mama. Soon arrangements were made for my meeting with the first prospect, Sindhu. There she was. Wow! In a beautiful blue dress. She looked like a star from Bollywood. She looked at me like I was George Clooney. <laughs> Cupid shot his arrow and we fell in love. Do you remember a time when you got into a new relationship? What were you expecting? I imagined spending the rest of my life holding her hand, listening to music, and doing hot yoga. <laughs> Few weeks later, on the 4th of July, we got married. On America's Independence Day, I lost my independence. <laughs> we sailed through our honeymoon. Then differences started to emerge. She liked outdoors. I liked indoors. She loved swimming. I feared drowning. <laughs> she liked cooking. I like to tell her how I miss my mama's cooking. <laughs> hey, I didn't want to follow her ways, and she wasn't willing to change. We argued over big things, over small things, even for nothing. I used logic. I used emotion. I even showed her a role model. Darling, why can't you just be perfect like me? <laughs> Within six months, we grew apart. Under one roof, we were two people living in solitude. No holding hands, no music, only silence. Looking for solutions, I asked my friend Jay. He just had his divorce. He was the expert. Jay said, man, life is short. Don't suffer. Separate. No, Jay, I just want to fix it. Exactly. My lawyer will fix it. I called my mama. Next day, she spoke to both Sindhu and me. She said, you will never find a partner who is 100% perfect. You fall in love because of Cupid's arrow. But what keeps you in love is Cupid's bow. You see, the bow and its string have a great partnership. The more the string pulls back, the more the bow bends. Ego is what pulls the string. 
Still the mighty bow bends because it cares for the partner. When she pulls, you bend. When you pull, she bends. If you pull too hard, your relationship will break. If you want to fix it, both of you need to pull less and bend more. Pull less and bend more. Have you seen anyone who pulls too hard? Have you pulled too hard? Since then, during arguments, I became more flexible. When Sindhu wanted to go out, I joined her. When she wanted to swim, I joined her at the shallow end. <laughs> when I became nice, she became nicer. Soon she started cooking better than mama. In my search for the perfect partner, I discovered that perfect partners are those who keep perfecting their partnerships by choosing to pull less and bend more. You can see problems in any relationship, within families, between friends, between colleagues, between races, cultures, nations. Today it seems like a world is breaking apart, doesn't it? Still, when you look at this room, you see people from 142 different nations sitting together, shoulder to shoulder, and getting along fine. How is that possible? Toastmasters, you are proof that no matter what our differences are, we're choosing to pull less and bend more, we can stay together. Last month, my wife and I celebrated our 19th anniversary. Yes, that's the same wife. <laughs> Do you think we still argue? Yes, but now even when we argue, we are still holding hands. My mama is no more with us, but her words still rings in our ears. Pull less and bend more. Pull less and? Contest chair.